To discuss organite, first we must discuss the basics of organ energy. Simply put, organ is energy. In fact, it's another name for the multi-named etheric energy that is everywhere and embodies all things. Reiki energy, prana, biomagnetic energy, chi, soft electrons, and life force energy are all names for the same thing. An organ matrix or organite crystal device is a device that provides assistance with working with these etheric energies. Organite both releases organ energy when stimulated by other forms of energy and has the capacity to change organ energy from one state to another. It is especially suited for dissolving negative energy in an area and converting it to balanced, healthy energy. This makes it especially useful in a wide range of applications, from alternative health, radionics, and other traditional metaphysics. Where did organite come from? Well, in the 1930s and 40s, Dr. Wilhelm Reich was able to detect and measure the existence of etheric energy, which he called organ, using a modified Geiger counter. He determined that by stacking alternating layers of fiberglass, which is an organic substance, and steel wool, an inorganic substance, you could attract and collect organ energy of both positive and negative polarities. He called the positive energy POR and the negative energy DOR, which stands for positive organ and deadly organ. <laughs> He began constructing a device that was able to successfully heal his patients of various ailments, including various forms of cancer, by having them sit inside the box for periods of time. In 1986, scientists at the University of Malberg in Germany published the results of a blind study which showed that 30-minute organ accumulator treatments caused a consistent psychopsychological effect. They published that their investigations displayed evidence for the assumption that the properties of organ accumulators and its effect on humans factually exist. Reich's work continued into the 60s by a really open-minded Russian scientist named Dr. Nikolai Kozirev, among others, who also scientifically proved that such unseen energies do exist all around us. This work led to the Soviet military using torsion field sciences in their military defense applications, which shows that amazing discoveries that can change the world can both be used for the light as well as the dark. In continuing this work, modern science has taken it to whole new levels in trying to figure out the nature of dark matter, zero-point energy, and the vacuum flux, and these are all discussions for another time. In 2000, organ accumulators came into being when Don and Carol Croft discovered through much research that mixing organic fiberglass resin and metal chips poured into a small mold like paper cups and muffin pans would produce a substance which would attract etheric energy. Then, by putting crystals into the mix, you get something even more amazing. Carol Croft, who was incredibly gifted in sensing etheric energies, found that adding a quartz crystal to the organite would cause the organite to not just attract all kinds of energy, but rebalance and transmute all of the negative energy into positive. As we learned in Crystals 1, this is because the molecular structure of quartz is incredibly stable and harmonically aligned with the geometry of the universe. Organic substances attract and hold a scalar charge, while metallic substances tend to repel it. Basically, organite pulls in bioenergy, and while energy is inside the device, metal particles and organic resin both push and pull on it in all directions at the same time. This puts friction on the energy, where the crystal will begin to create order from chaos by aligning the structure of the energy into a more positively aligned pattern. Crystals and gems all have their uses that we've looked at, and organite does too. Organite is good for putting in an area that is needing a transmutation of a lot of negative energy into positive energy, and depending on what that situation is, you may need lots or very little. There's actually one final thing I'd like to bring up about organite, which is actually called tower busting. It has been widely experienced that the widespread use of cell phone towers create a thick blanket of DOR, or negative organ energy, around the areas between them. This saturates our homes and communities with negative energies that promote drought, negativity, fear, and so on. I'm not saying that the towers are causing the negativity of the world, but perhaps just stimulating or intensifying it. However, it has been experienced that this can be remedied by placing or burying organite at the base of a cell phone tower. Thousands of aware and selfless, beautiful people in the world have begun doing this and slowly helping out in what is being called the organite gifting movement. And this is happening all over the world. And we need your help as well. 